Oscar. Francisco. How are you, Oscar? Yeah, doing, I'm doing well. I'm, I'm in my working place. Okay, how many hours are you working? 24 hours? Yes, yes. From 6 a.m. today until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, do you sleep during the night? Can you? Um, for a while, maybe one hour. It depends on the operations. Okay. Because we we give a service. Okay. So is it is it is it as busy as before or is it slower? No, now it's, it's getting busy. We are on the um, two third. Those thirds. Uh, yeah, that two would thirds. Be yeah, two thirds. Two thirds. Uh -huh. In terms of the of the traffic that you, you used to have before the pandemic. Okay. Uh -huh. Now it's increasing and it's, it's getting. Okay. Um, Do you? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you have airplanes arriving in El Salvador like late at night, like one in the morning or eleven yeah. p.m.? You do? Yeah. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, uh, United just added uh, three more flights uh, incoming and departing from from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m. every oh. day. Okay. All uh -huh. right. United okay. also uh, each airline is increasing the, the operations. They still not uh, at the at the same uh, percentage before the pandemic, but but it's increasing. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Good. All right, Julian Williams, welcome. Thank you, teacher. It's good to have you here on a Friday. In fact, it's Friday, and the body, and the body knows it. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't do feel well today. <laughs> and body um, knows it. Oh my God! Yeah, you know, like your body. You know, uh -huh. like, no, no. I will <laughs> always. I have. Uh, feel yeah, work right. and uh, don't be uh, too later at the home. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, what do you but, guys usually do on a Friday at this time? Work. Working. You work. <laughs> okay. yeah. I'm not working. Maybe just hang out, uh, dinner over there. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So it's what's today's date? Yeah. Um, December 4th, 2020, Friday? Yes, Friday, December 4th, 2020. That is correct. Okay, do you remember the topics we covered um, yesterday? Um, um. Do you remember we were talking about risks? Was it risk or technology? Technology. technology. Okay, yeah, technology. Yeah, risks was the, the, the day before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we were talking about technology and how people depend on it, mm -hmm. you know? So how people like, has that ever happened to you that you're driving your car or you're going with someone and you forget your cell phone in your house, you say, oh my God, let's go back to the house. Yes. Has, has mm -hmm. that ever happened to you? Yes. Mm, no. Every day, almost every day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, especially if you use your cell phone as a computer, like you basically do uh, almost all the activities uh, in the cell phone, then there is a good possibility that you will go back to the house. You feel like incomplete. If, for example, if I don't have my phone in my hand, I don't feel like something is missing. No. I feel like incomplete. Right, right. You know, I mainly use my cell phone for WhatsApp. Um, most of the information that I exchange, that I receive, that I send is by WhatsApp. Second, my email, 
but WhatsApp is mostly how how I communicate. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So what about you guys? What is the main function that you give to your cell phone? In my case is um, WhatsApp, first of all. But I, I use a lot for to for take uh, photos. Yeah, it's um, it's my camera in my work. Okay, you work I in the, you work in advertising or designing, William? No, um, I'm working in an NGO helping people. So we need to show at evidence when when we give the different donations. Okay, all right, yeah. good. What about you, Oscar? What is the main function of your cell phone? Um, well, I use it for, for uh, phone calls, uh, WhatsApp, um, uh, to wash, uh, to use the, the washing machine by Bluetooth. <laughs> what do you, what, me what do you mean? Well, you said something about the washing machine. Hey, you told me something about it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I had the, the uh, how to say, my washing machine um, uh, was uh, broke. Uh, uh, I mean, the, the electronic, the motherboard, the motherboard, the controller motherboard was uh, broken. Uh -huh. so I, got, I got a new one, and the new one only functions with the Bluetooth. So oh. uh, we used to watch okay. the clothes with the through the phone, I mean, to, to okay. start the, the, yeah. the wash machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's it, a, it just worked for one year. Uh, it, it, yeah, longer. yeah, but it's amazing how uh, a cell phone, uh, you know, like I've been like, when the pandemic began, you know, because I have little ones in the house. So they used to break the control of the television all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. So I would go to Freon like every two or three months for a new control. Mm -hmm. and, and a friend told me, why don't you set the control in yourself? And I said, can you do that? I said, yeah. So he showed me how. And now we use the, the cell phone to, as a, as, as to change the, mm -hmm. the channels of the, of, the, of, the, of the television. Mm -hmm. yep, so. yeah, you, can, you can set it in your air conditioning system. Mm -hmm. uh, imagine yeah imagine so you you can do uh different things yeah, yeah. And, and, you know something that i noticed i don't know if i haven't been getting the information or if it's new maybe you guys know uh at the beginning of each month i receive a message from claro that says uh we are informing that you accumulated X amount of megabytes that you didn't use last month. Mm -hmm. Is that new or, or I've been missing it? It's an obligation for companies to accum accumulate the internet that you didn't use. Oh. Because uh, before, yeah, it's-, it's You lose it. By four for a lot. Yeah, you lose it. If you don't use it in the, at the end of, the, of the, the month, you lose it. Right. But it's not fair because you're paying for it. Exactly. You're paying for that. So exactly. in, the new law, in the new law, the companies don't believe that the companies are like, oh, they are good. They're, they are like right. good with me. No, no, no. They are uh, they have They're just following instructions to give you. Exactly. Okay. Yes. When, when did because that you, start? You paid for that. When did that start? The last year. Last year. Yeah, last year. I'm sure about it. Okay. So maybe, maybe I have been using, I, I've been getting the, uh, the message, but I haven't been paying attention to it because uh, it, it says you have accumulated X amount of, of things, you know, like megabytes, and it, whatever. And it applies for the airtime, for your phones, uh -huh. to, to speak, and with your the internet. Oh. Applied for both. Yeah, okay. general obligation. Okay. If you have a specific um, amount to, for example, to, to talk, you can accumulate for the next month. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, uh, the company, uh, the place where I work for, they pay for the, for the phone service. Uh, but I've been getting that message for like the two or three months already. 
So, and I never use it every, I never use it. Like I said, I use the cell phone mostly for WhatsApp messages. Oh, okay. Now, so, well, that's good news. Yeah. That's good news. All right, good. good news. Also like a dictionary, like a, a, a encyclopedia, um, like a... Encyclopedia? You no. Know, Encyclopedia, uh -huh. and many things um, to study, to meet on, on Zoom. Okay. Everything. All right. Excuse me good. for a while. Okay, good, good, no problem. Okay, so let's begin. Let me see this here. Where is the lesson plan for you guys? Okay, right here. Okay, any questions or comments about yesterday? Any questions or comments about the TOEFL exam? Um, I already started the platform teacher okay. and uh, you are right, it's so complicated. Yeah. Yeah, the listening, it's so complicated. Yeah, the reading mm -hmm. too. You know, uh, like I told I you guys. I haven't reached the, 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 the uh -huh. reading part, uh -huh. but the, the listening. Mm. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, be, we'll be talking about the midterm exam today. And uh, like I told you, you know, when you take the exam, you will, they will evaluate your reading comprehension, your listening comprehension, and also your grammar. So uh, uh, the reading, you have, you have, I think you have five passages, five passages. Topics are not common and they're exactly. boring, and they're boring. <laughs> and yeah, it, and you... Go ahead, go ahead. And I found uh, words that I never read, read before. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel like yeah. comfortable doing yeah. that because I... Mm -mm. Yeah, comfortable, right. Um, comfortable. Yeah, and the reason why the readings are long and boring, they do it on purpose. Because if I say, look, I have a book for you. Oh, my favorite writer. You know, you get excited. But if I give you a book uh, about something that doesn't get your interest or something, you will be like, ah, oh, I'll read it whenever I have the chance. So when you take the exam and you find those readings that you have never seen in your life, you see vocabulary you have never seen in your life, you feel like it's tedious. It is tedious, you know, they're yeah. long and the topics are boring, you know, so, but that's, that's, and the listening, you gotta be like, when they're talking or when you're listening to a lecture, uh, you have to be paying extra attention. Yeah, I, I, I already know, uh, noticed that. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So it, it takes time to, to answer, uh, the questions to read the articles. And like I said, uh, it's 45 minutes for the listening activity, 45 minutes of nonstop. They divide it, uh, I think in two or three different sections. Uh, so you finish the first section um, and then they, they give you examples of what is coming. So 45 minutes, and then you go to the grammar part, it's 25 minutes. I guess that's the friendly part. And finally, they give you 75 minutes to do the reading. I guess I already spent uh, 20 minutes, 20 <laughs> minutes just in the first uh, page. Right. And, and you know, the funny part is that you yeah. see words that you have never seen in your life and you cannot use any dictionaries, mm -hmm. you cannot use any... Uh, a translator, you cannot use your cell phone, so it's just you and your knowledge. And I was using the translator. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yes, I admit it, I was using the translator because there, there are too many words that I don't know, I, I don't know the meaning. So I really need the, 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 the translator. Right, right, yeah. So it happens. So hopefully, you know, when you, um, when you guys uh, have the chance to take the exam, you guys will be better, better prepared, you know, and um, it depends on the institution that is asking for the, for the TOEFL exam. 
So every institution sets a different score. So some universities in El Salvador, they ask you for 500. Others, they ask you for 520. Others ask you for um, uh, 600. So every, everybody, all institutions are different. Yep. Okay, any questions or comments before we start with the first activity? No? No. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about something we do every day. What do you do every day? Eat. 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 Sleep. What else do you do every day? Work. Work. Mm, Can you work. see the questions in the in the in the screen? No? Yes. Yes. Okay, no. what are what are the questions about? Uh, thinking. 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 All right. Thinking. Well, exactly. Thinking. Okay. So let me let me um take a picture of this. Ha ha ha. Eight to nine, eight to nine, eight mm -hmm. to nine PM right here. And send the pictures right there. So let me create their uh, rooms. Thank you for being present on a Friday. <laughs> And here we go. Cecilia, can you hear me? In related to, to the plans or when had a project and also in the work 
eh, después a, a specific topic and I need to make to search how I, I, I resolve or, or I complete that task. Only, only that. That's okay. But you're always thinking. Yes. Only little one. <laughs> and the second is very abstract, the question. Yes. Why do we think? Why do, we Why do think? you think we think? Be because we are humans. <laughs> and and because start, start, start alive. <laughs> yeah, because we are humans and we have a, I don't know, we have a brain. We are all the time thinking, even if we don't want. I don't know how to say it. Um, it's something that you cannot avoid. Yes. <laughs> make a difference from the animals okay yeah you can help it that that's the expression no lo puede evitar you can help it help it help it yeah you can help it oh okay but okay. It's, it's something that comes with you there is a word in the spanish i don't even remember that when it is uh when it, when you born with that uh-huh it's a, I don't even remember the word in Spanish, but yeah, we are humans. That's why we think. Okay. Okay. Okay, the number three. Do you always think about what you must? I like to think about different things of, about the life, about the people, about uh, how we can be a better person. Better, better race, r rasa? How to say rasa? How to say what? Rasa? Ah, uh, race. Race, no? It's uh -huh. race. Yeah. How we can we can be a better race? So sometimes I, I yeah, it's crazy, but I like to to think about and and mm -hmm. how to change the world. I I know oh, it is it is a yeah, um, utopia. Uh, I don't know. Ah, utopia. 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 Okay, it is an, uh -huh. it is an utopia, but uh, we can uh, do a little things for change. I used to want to change the world before, but now I just analyze the things, and I don't want to change anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to change the world anymore. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, no. sometimes that means, <laughs> sometimes that means, uh, spend your time in that. So because of the, okay, uh, maybe that's well, it's good. It's, it's good. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let me also see the other, the other question. What is the the other question? The other question is, hi Jose, You're welcome. No, hi. You're welcome. Sorry, I'm late. I didn't no remember. Jose, let's no ask the next question to Jose. Yeah, we are in the, we are going to five, number five. Can too much uh -huh. thinking affect your health, Jose? Um, can you too much think affect Can too much thinking affect your health? Uh, no, my health is, is very nice, I think. Oh, oh, okay. oh, what, what, oh, what is the, the, the question is, general, what is, in general, it came too yeah. much thinking of, of your health. I, I think yes, because the, yeah. do you know the word over, overthinking, overthinking is, uh, it's like, uh, when you are over, overwhelmed by a, by a problem, by an idea or by a, a reason, I mean, Ah, the thing. actual just thinking when you are thinking, thinking yeah. a lot. Thinking, ah. thinking a lot, yeah. Uh, thinking a lot is like overthinking. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's tired. It's tired, uh -huh. uh, and sometimes uh, when you are worried about something and you thinking about all the time, uh, can be affect your health. Yes, uh, I agree. Yes, sorry. Really physical, it. physically. Emotional. Mm -hmm. The situation is when imagine always in the life you had a good thing 
or about events. But if you always thinking in, in why the bad events and all the, the consequence, negative consequence for that, you affect your health. Yeah. Because in the life, um, one day is all good and another more or less and another are bad. But it's a normal way for the, for the life. Yes, it depends on point of view for everyone. Yes. Or, or, or imagine uh, in the world we, or in, in my case, I, in many occasions, I have a mistake for anything situation. But if I felt bad for that, I continually uh, in, the, the, in, the, in the same day or the next day for that, for me, it's a bad, it's a bad action because if you had a, a, a wrong or a mistake, uh, you need to realize why, uh, or why happened that or the causes and you need to fix and learn for that event. But you don't need a continuous, a had a regret for that because for me that is not help. Yeah, sometimes the mistake make us strongest or try yes. to avoid the same mistake for the future. Ah, uh, yes, it's true. Yeah, no worry. Number six, you can we stop people from thinking too much. Let me read the question. I can get it. Uh, not much. We cannot help people to avoid to, to think. It's up to them, not to, up to us. I think there are kind of techniques that can help to try to to take a breath of this in order to relax, try to don't think in anything. Or if share with that, another person your, your specific time. It's up to the person. If someone wants to think and think the same situation, nobody can help, help her or help him more than uh, more than they self herself or he self yes it's true yeah the number seven is thinking a positive or negative thing why is thinking a... it depends the thoughts that you have Yes, if you invest the specific time or a reasonable time for one thing you need to solve, it's positive. But if you uh, lost your peace or your dream or your humor, it's bad. Yeah, it's true. Sometimes when I have a problem, I ask myself, okay, what can I do to solve that? Is there anything, is there anything that I can do? If the answer is easier, yes, I evaluate, while I check the things that I can do, but if it's not, if it's something that it not depends on me, okay, I just evaluate the consequence. Okay, this is gonna happen, or is it gonna happen this, and I'm, I'm like that. Because a lot of people say, oh, I'm worried, I'm worried, but, because, but they don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just to be worried yes. all the time. Okay, the number. Uh, our whole body can stop, I think. I am not a doctor, but I think. <laughs> Can be happen. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we, we have to to be awake our neuronas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we can we can be like. Can be like, uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you do when thinking keeps you awake at night? Okay. okay. Mm, in my case, I prefer to watch TV. Sometimes, uh, like, like, like sport or movies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, in my case, I get up, take a coffee, and watch TV. What? Yeah, you drink drinking coffee. coffee. You... <laughs> yeah, I drink coffee. Yeah. I love coffee, so <laughs> if I, <laughs> yeah, so if I stay awake, so I can drink coffee. Yes. How many cups of coffee do you drink when you are working at night? Um, at night, sometimes um, three or four. Three or four, yes. yes. I think. Mm -hmm. Or 12 pounds. Maybe Cups. Coke and chocolate too. <laughs> okay, uh, no, only coffee. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, black coffee. Any sugar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, when was the last time thinking about something solve a problem? Last night. Last night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, maybe the, all this this week I've been very busy and we are trying to solve a, a lot of things along this week. Yeah, I understand <laughs> you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking about uh, something uh, about a problem uh, uh, like five years, five years, five days. So. Uh, I, I I hope to solve tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's done. <laughs> that is all. Yeah, it's all. So, but um, yeah. In my ah, uh, so speaking. In my case, when I woke up uh, at night, if I if I am in troubles, uh, I pray. But if only I think and and I can do the uh, sleep again, I began to read, and after I I sleep suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a one option to to relaxing or. Uh... Or uh, uh, stop for the thinking in the same thing. Can be for that reason we we are I feel better and I I had a, a good dream. And if, if, for example, if you have to problems with sleep to, uh, tonight, uh, do the platform because the reading the reading <laughs> <Yeah>, is <laughs> extremely <laughs> boring. Yeah. Are extremely yeah. me too. <laughs> the platform. You will need you will need time to finish all the exercises in the platform. Julius, yes. right? You're <laughs> long. I had to try. I didn't know that you were here. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. no, they're long. Listen, they, and I was telling Julia, um, the reading section, the readings are long and boring. I'm being honest. Really they, they present topics. Teacher. They present topics that you're like, man, I don't know anything about this, and I'm not interested in reading this. So it's a, uh, it they, takes they, time. They book, they book, are longer too. Yeah, they're long. <laughs> Some yeah. reading are interesting, but other is boring. Right. <laughs> okay. The number ten. When was the last time thinking about something solving a problem? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> we have class today? It's really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, because because we make up the two first days. We lost. Yes, something. I know, but yeah. I, I didn't remember. I, yeah, I've been exactly. busy today. And 
Yeah. Just I, I I am I am I'm working. I'm really working. Yes, because oh my god, I have a, a lot of things to do. I, okay, I I'll be wake up all night. <laughs> no, maybe <laughs> until midnight. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. So you have deadlines, uh, Jose Aquino. Hello. Do you have deadlines? Yes, I had to to show a report to before before twelve to, tonight. So twelve midnight is the is the deadline. Um, yes, my deadline is twelve midnight. Okay. Mm -hmm. But all I right. almost I almost finish. Okay, all right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. 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 See you there. See you. Close the door, Matthew. The teacher? I I don't know. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, hello. All right. Um, any questions or comments? No, teacher. No? Okay. No so, questions. Okay, no so according to the schedule, according to the program, um, you're supposed to be taking the midterm exam today. So okay. let me... Let me show you this. Have Have you read the questions in the in the midterm exam? Everything is just theory. Yeah, just theory. So, um, you know, all the practice that you guys have, the reading section, the listening section, the grammar section. Um, this midterm exam is a little bit different. They just ask you about theory just to make sure that you are mentally prepared uh, to take the exam. Let me see this here. Okay. So, um, uh, mention the two types of listening questions we have gone over in this course. Type in three words which are used in inference questions. Uh, what's the meaning of inference? What is inference? Anybody? So imagine you hear a big bang. What is your inference? Maybe uh, a bird hit uh, a cable. That is your inference, but maybe it's not true. So what is inference? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. this is... It's like a conclusion. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Inference is conclusion, right. Okay, then we have question three. It says types of questions, number of questions, scheming and scanning are tips which help you overcome the challenges of, is it reading or listening? Reading. Reading, Please. exactly. Reading. Reading, yes. What about number four? What does the reading test measures? Ability to convey ideas or your ability to understand academic English? To understand academic English. Right, right. Um, with Julia, we were mentioning at the beginning of the class that the readings they present to you um, are, they're not the everyday reading 
that you will find on a regular magazine, on a newspaper, they present topics that are, um, that are not common, that are not common. Then uh, question five, major ideas, important details, and definitions are from, they give you the three, three options. Inference questions ask you to what? Recognize information explicitly stated in the reading passage or identify information not plainly stated in the reading passage. So which words are used for negative factual information questions? Number eight, information stated in a small part of the passage. And then you have uh, the other three questions in which type of question they ask you to identify uh, the main topic or idea. Phrases like mainly discuss or mainly about are used in which one? And then you have number 12 to identify what the main purpose of the conversation or lecture is. This belongs to, okay. Let me ask you, what is the meaning of the word lecture? Lecture is not, is not related with reading. What is lecture? Anybody? It's a comprehension. Um, imagine that I come to my house at 1 a.m. My wife will lecture me. Like sermon? Yep. So when they say lecture, when they say lecture, they're making reference to someone speaking. Lecture, lecture, lecture. So that's, that's what they mean. So to identify what the main purpose of the conversation or lecture. So when you say lecture, they're making reference to one person talking. Conversation is two or more, right? Any questions about the reading? Yes, uh, uh, in the number two, I, I could understand the, how could be the, the answer. You type okay. in the two words, which are the use inference questions. Okay, now when you are using your inference, what are the, um, the words that people usually use. Which ones are they? Fi finally. Imply, suggest, infer. So infer, imply, or suggest are the, the, the words that you should, that should do. Any questions? So once again, um, this exam, you know, it's, it's easy because um, they just ask you for theory. But when it's time to do the knowledge check, you have to do a lot of listening and a lot of reading. Okay. Anything else? So what you need to do here, you know, some of the answers that we have here, um, when you start watching the videos, they explain and they mention the questions they're asking you here. So it shouldn't be hard. Questions? Oh. Questions, questions? No? Okay, so let me close this. So what are the plans you have for the weekend? Which plans do you have? In my case, I work in platform, on platform. Good, work in the platform, good. Everybody should be saying the same thing. I'm working in the platform, Francisco. Yes, I will be working in the platform too. Good. <laughs> All right. So do you have any plans to go uh, somewhere? Work on Sunday. On Sunday? Yeah, I have shifts on Sunday. Okay. But how many hours do you work? Eight or nine hours or 10? Well, hours from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, all day. All day, yeah. Okay. But I can complain because I have a lot of uh, days off. 
Okay. So how many yeah. how, how many days a week are you working? Uh, like three days a week weekly. Okay. Fourth. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes it's, four, but no more than three. Okay. All right. That's I, fine. I work eight days weekly, teacher. Eight, eight days oh. a week. <laughs> And your days have uh, 26 hours or more. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let me uh, reassign you, recreate, recreate, add room. I, I was trying to do the, the meter right now, but I can submit. I don't know why. Really? Yes, I'm not sure if I have to do before. So much like before, but but uh, that's that's strange. Uh, you shouldn't be having any any problems or any issues uh, with it. Okay, so let me assign you to work in person again and talk about the plans you have for the weekend. We're almost finished. We got like ten okay. more minutes. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? I am a little sad. Why are you sad? Because uh, my one of my co-workers just died. Really? Yes. What happened to him or her? Uh, the, um, uh, one month ago, they, uh -huh. they, uh, they contract COVID nineteen. Okay. And 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 he, how do you say? Was he hospitalized? No, because uh, how do you say? Se recuperó. He recovered. <laughs> he recovered, but uh, the leg that he um se, he um se enfermó otra vez. So he got sick again. Yes, he got sick again. Yes. Okay, so and was he ever hospitalized? He was hospitalized the the first time. Okay. The fir yes, he was hospitalized the first time, and the and this week, yes, they hospital hospitalized, hospitalized him. Okay. Now the first yes. time he yes. was hospitalized, how many days? About. 15 days okay so it was a little bit serious yes yes because he had a uh, other kind of illness, uh -huh. illnesses. how old was he yes what was his age uh, he, he was a uh, six a uh, 59 59 yes that's young mm -hmm. It's too young to die at that age. Yes. Okay. He was the 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 motorist, the drive the driver. Okay. Yes. And now the second time he was sick, how many days was he in the hospital? Uh, I think like a seven or eight days. So the second time was worse. Yes. All right. Oh, too bad, you know, like, it's too and, bad, that's, yes. and, and that's what I tell people, you know, like, if we are healthy and we are alive, that's a big, uh, uh, that's a big profit. I mean, that's, that's good news. Everything else is, is secondary. Everything else is secondary. Can you tell me what does mean? The last word has you say profit that you say yes. Pro profit means ganancia. 
Ah, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we have good health and we're alive, that's profit. So everything else is secondary. Yes. All right. Yes. And, and where I, do you work, Veronica? I work in a financial company called AMC. Okay. Yeah, I think we were talking about that before with you. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I remember. You know, I, I speak with so many people during the day that I know that I have asked the same question and, and people are like, uh, uh, but this is like the fourth or fifth time he's asking me the same question. <laughs> but you know, I forget who no, I interact don't worry, with. Teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so, uh, so your co-worker, I imagine that from the hospital, he went straight to the cemetery, no funeral services. Yes, no, no funeral, no, no funeral service. Mm -hmm. My goodness. You know, yes. and, and that is one of the worst parts about this COVID. Like, okay, I don't exactly. feel good. You go to the hospital and maybe that was the last time your, your family saw you. Yes. It's the worst part. I yeah. feel that. Mm -hmm. Right. I have seen pictures of people, you know, like they take him to La Bermeja yes. and their relatives are watching from like, one block away mm -hmm. yes yeah it's a it's a sad story yes yep. it's sad because we we want to to stay there in that moment but right yeah you want to say goodbye and i mean it's like you know all all, all history you know all the all these past decades if a person dies under any circumstance, there's a funeral service and, mm -hmm. and there is a cemetery where you go with this person, but now things are very different. Yes, we can say by like a day, como se lo merecen. Yeah, like they deserve. Yes. Exactly. Sorry to hear about your loss, uh, Veronica. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, I'm going to send My... you to room two. Thank you. Okay. Uh, really? Wow. Yeah. No, like, like a child. Like a child. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you know that's not wrong. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, Francisco. I, yes, sir. I, I don't have the right answer, the number, uh, number <laughs> one. Number one, number nine. What is that? Uh, you mean the midterm exam? Yes. Let mm -hmm. me check. Number nine, number one, but I, I, I'm not sure. Let me see this here. Check this here. In his or his, how do you pronounce his? Or uh, gist? Gist. Just, just. Okay, let me yes. let, let me look for this. Uh -huh -huh. All right here. Let me check if I find it. I should be able. Now I I'm having problems with my. If you write me at 10 o'clock when I finish the next class, I can help you with the questions you have. Oh, sure. Yeah. At 10 p.m.? Yeah, know? at 10 p.m., yeah. Because I have a class with you guys from 8 to 9, and when I finish, I connect again for my last class of the day from 9 to 10. 
Yeah. How many hours is your labor day, Francisco? Uh, right now, I start with my with my first class at 7 a.m. from 7 to 8. Then I go from 10 to 12. And then I go from 6 to 10. From 6 to 10. From 6 to 10. Uh, yeah. yeah, I have a class from 6 to 8. You guys from 8 to 9. And one more from 9 to 10. So you teach in four uh, classes from 6 to 7, 7 to 8? No, I, I teach three different groups. 6 to 8 oh, yeah, is it. one. 8 to 9 and 9 to 10. Um, and then it. I teach two different classes, uh, two different groups in the morning. So I have five different groups during the day. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, interesting. So, you know, the, 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 the advantage is that uh, I teach from here, from my house. So uh, in the past, you know, I would have maybe the same amount of classes, uh, but I would have to go physically to the places, not anymore. So, you know, five different groups, you know, you might say, oh, that's a lot of work, but doing it from the house is not that hard. Okay. It's an advantage for you to to be at home, right? Teaching, right? Yeah. Right. You're saving right. money, saving gas, yeah, saving the, time. The food that you spend outside, because you know I have exactly. good appetite. I eat a lot, so uh, mm -hmm. if I get hungry, I said, okay, where am I? Okay, what is the closest place to get food? So mm. I so I I save a lot of money in gas and 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 food mainly. In food and time too. Time too, time too, right? Okay, let's go back to the main session. Okay, see you there. All right. All right. Do you guys have any questions or comments about today? No. Teacher. Okay, if, if you have any questions about the midterm, send me a WhatsApp uh, at 10 p.m. That's the time that I finish, and I'll get back to you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, Thank teacher. You, teacher. Bye -bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you Thank later. You.